everyone, Ollie here. So I cover quite a few desk setups on my channel, including my own. Now, of course, those desk setups that I cover usually have very high-end desk, very high-end gear, and can be quite expensive. So I wanted to make a desk setup that anyone could afford pretty much, and then they can switch out the monitor and the laptop for their own. Not everything here is meant to be the cheapest. I wanted to get a good mix or sort of affordability and good quality so that you get the best value for money. So first up, we have the desktop. This is the IKEA Lag Captain, I think it's called, in dark gray. This goes for around £25 or $50. It's the desk you see a lot of in my pictures and you most likely have probably seen it in my previous videos as well. It has a really nice dark gray finish to it. I love the look of it. I think it's just very clean, very minimalist. It is 140 by 60 centimeters in size, which I think is a good size for most desk setups. I have the Tilt Slag Trestle in black attached to one side. This goes for around £25, $35. I think it's a pretty stylish trestle. It has a shelf that can also be used for something like a printer or a PC, but I've put my PS5 on it and I think it looks great. It's surprisingly well built as well, made from metal, feels very solid and gives some great stability to the desk. And on the other side, I have two black Adil's legs. Now, I just wanted to keep the price down. It's why I chose these legs. Of course, you could choose another trestle or something else. These only go for around seven pounds or $10 for both. And yeah, it's just a good way to keep the price down. I also have the Trotten drawer unit and this goes for around 65 pounds or $100. I was actually going to go with the Alex drawer unit, but it seems overdone now and everyone has it in their setup. So I wanted to try something different. This is actually a surprisingly useful storage unit. Three drawers with plenty of storage for your belongings. You can lock the top two drawers as well with one lock, ideal for keeping your valuables safe and keeping away nosy people. It's on wheels too, so you can move it around easily if you need to. And the top of it can act as a shelf as it has a lip around the edges so things don't fall off. This whole setup can be had for less than $200. If you remove the drawer unit, it can be had for less than $100. So I think it's incredible value for money. Like I said, I was trying to go for a desk setup that anyone could sort of go with and then they can switch out anything they need like the monitor, the chair, the laptop, anything else but I just wanted to have the desk set up so that anyone could put it together. On the bottom of the desk I've also attached a Signum cable trunking sort of cable management tray from Ikea as well and yeah this was super easy to attach it just drills straight into the desk and it can hold your cable strip and any of your cables. Next up we have the chair and the one I've chosen here is the classic Ikea Marcus chair. This is the chair I recommended in my ultimate office chair video for those on a budget. I think this might actually be the most important part of the setup as having a proper office chair is so important for your back. You don't want to hit your 30s or 40s with back problems, of course, because you didn't have a proper office chair. I think the IKEA Marcus is a great starting chair for those who don't have the budget for something more high-end like a Herman Miller chair. So that's pretty much it for the actual desk setup itself, the budget desk setup. The other products we're covering next aren't really budget products, but I wanted to show you what I've put together anyway. I also wanted to thank Masterworks for sponsoring this video. So Apple has recently announced that they're going to be scaling back the production of the iPhone SE because I assume of poor sales. Despite that, its stock is trading at the highest point since 2003. I usually like to keep up with companies like Apple because I invest in stocks and shares myself. But there is an alternative and that is high-end artwork. In fact, artwork is one of the only asset classes that performs better when inflation is over 3%. However, it's been very difficult to get into contemporary art and is usually reserved for the ultra-rich. Masterworks is looking to change the game when it comes to investing in art, making it much easier for the average investor. They enable you to invest in shares of famous artwork from legends such as Picasso, Banksy, and many others. So you can start protecting your cash from inflation. There are three pieces they've offered and sold that have returned over 30% IIR to investors. Of course, past performance is not a guarantee of future results, but it's still very impressive. So make sure to check out Masterworks. Make sure to use my link in the description to skip the waitlist. So the monitor I have here is the Samsung G70A monitor. And like I said, this is not really a budget monitor, but there is a reason why I chose this as it had to meet a minimum set of requirements. I'll also leave links to the wallpaper for those interested. But yeah, those requirements are that it had to be at least 27 inches in size. It had to have a 4K resolution panel. It had to be able to do 120 Hertz or more, and it had to have HDMI 2.1 so you can get the most out of next gen consoles. At the time of making this video, this was actually the cheapest one I could find that met all of those requirements, but also wasn't from some random brand you've never heard of before. But it is still quite expensive for a budget setup as I bought it for £620 and in the US it currently goes for $650. The design of the monitor itself is pretty nice. It does have a sort of gamerish look to it. 
I also didn't like the stand that it came with, so I ended up mounting it to a Visa mount monitor arm, which I think really cleans up the desk. It's 28 inches in size, and I think this is the perfect monitor for those who are looking for a one monitor setup where you can use it with your laptop or PC and then game on it whenever you want as well. It even has a sort of RGB ring light on the back with two RGB strips on the front which can match what's on the screen. You can of course set it up to have any color you like and go through the rainbow and stuff if that's what you like. I'm not actually the biggest RGB fan, but I think when it matches what's on the screen, it can look great. However, it's not always 100% accurate. I'm not actually sure how it determines what color it chooses, but it still looks cool when it works. As expected, the gaming experience is great and it works great with the MacBook Air as well. You should have no problem hooking up a PS5 or Xbox and getting 120 Hertz from it. On top of the monitor, I've attached a monitor light. Instead of buying a desk lamp, I think this is actually a very good alternative as it doesn't take up valuable desk space. It connects via USB 2, so you won't need to use a wall outlet. The color temperature can be changed between 3000 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, which is nice as you can adjust it to whatever is comfortable for you. You can adjust the brightness too, and it's all done by touch buttons on the top. I was impressed by how bright it got actually, definitely as bright as most desk lamps. So like I mentioned earlier, I had the monitor mounted to a monitor arm, which also has a laptop tray. I've shared this particular mount several times on the channel in the past, but I still recommend it to those who are looking to have a super clean setup by having your laptop and monitor off the desk on a budget. It's sturdy enough to hold the monitor and the laptop no problem and can be adjusted quite a bit. There's cable management clips included too, which can help keep your cables organized. My laptop of choice is the MacBook Air and I definitely think the MacBook Air is the best value for money laptop you can buy right now. The battery life on it is amazing. The M1 chip in it is amazing. I think overall it's just one of the best laptops you can buy right now and really good value for money. The headset I've chosen may actually surprise some people, but I personally think it's one of the best you can get for under $100. So I've been using the PlayStation Pulse headset ever since it was released around a year and a half ago and it is so damn good. It uses a USB dongle so you can easily switch it between your laptop and console. The sound quality is more than good enough for listening to music, watching movies and of course gaming. Gaming especially, it sounds great. When playing first person shooters like Apex, I can easily tell where the enemies are. It's wireless too, has a built in mic and the battery can last up to 12 hours. I have the headset on a walnut and aluminium headphone stand which I picked up from Amazon. The keyboard, mouse and desk mat from ULX are just here as placeholders as this part I think really comes down to personal preference and the ones I have here aren't really budget options but I'll leave links to them anyway. So yeah, that is it for the budget desk slash gaming setup. I wanted to put together a desk setup that, that I just felt like anyone and everyone could afford because I think this is very good value for money. Now of course it's not going to beat something like a full real Walmart desk or anything like that but I think for those on a budget and looking to have something that looks minimalist and sort of aesthetically pleasing, this is definitely one of the best you can get right now. I'll of course leave links to everything down in the description below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.